So here it is, I have assembled it in one of the shapes. There are different shapes you can make from the track. I've gone for this one because I think this looks like the most impressive one and I know my toddler will like it. So let's show you what it moves like. Gone off the play mat. It's off again. So the train does climb out, it will climb out in a moment. Just trying to keep off of it. It's on its play mat. I've actually moved the rug out of the way so that it could move freely because it works better on a flat surface, but I'll show you that again. So the train will time out and I've got it on the first setting here. You can have one or two, one, two. Let's try two this time. So two will go backwards and forwards. Yes, going backwards. Put it back on the plane out. This ball one, this ball shaped one really does move a lot as you can see. Go forward. Now backwards. Oh, seems to stop. Oh, it did just stop there. I'm not sure why, because it's all clicked in. Uh, let's try again on the first setting. And I've got on the highest volume, we've got the volume buttons on the back there. I'm not really hearing it make much sound anyway. Let's see, maybe I'll, no, I can't stand it like that because the weight of the train. All right, let's just try again. I'll show you what it moves like. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Yeah, it's off. Why is it stopped? I'm not really sure why it's stopped. Again, see if it's just yeah. <laughs> moves a lot, you'll need a large space for this shape track because as you can see it was moving a lot around the rim so yeah just bear that in mind if you've got a smaller space you will need a um, clearer space I've moved the rug and everything out of the way but yes you'll need to have quite a large area so that this shape track can move around I'll show you on the box the other shape so sorry I did just rip into it yesterday when I bought it but that's the shape that I have done the one that was on the front of the box and yeah as you saw it's great although the train did um, keep stopping a few times and I'm not sure why really impressed with the train it's a really good build train feels very sturdy it doesn't look like it's great it's got a lovely light on the front there you may have seen it and at night when I got it out last night and it was the evening time the train looked really nice when it was um darkish see if you can see the light there that's a really nice feature there it goes let it do its thing whilst I show you the box so yeah I kind of just ripped into it in a hurry yesterday and um right let's stop you there train so what happened when I ripped into it yesterday I thought this was going to be a really quick track to put together and I got really stuck when I was following the instructions that are included with the track inside the box so then I went onto YouTube and I followed a very clear video from Little Tykes. I will pop the link in the description box down below because that's the best video to follow to put it together. Because this is just, um, because it's also black and white, it's, it's just harder to know which piece goes where. I mean, this is obviously straightforward. You pop the batteries in the back. That's really easy to understand. You don't really even need a manual to see that. Um, but when it comes to choosing different shapes, 
it's it was really hard to know how to put it together so do follow the link that i will put below um don't let you know the difficulty of it being put together put you off this product because so far i'm happy with it i haven't tried the other shapes yet um because like i said i only got it yesterday and i want my toddler when he gets back from the nursery to try out this shape because i think he's gonna find it really fun especially as it's like a giant ball but i got it from um toy barn house and it was in the sale as you can see there and yes yeah, so far so good um I'm a little bit disappointed that they kept stopping a few times um but i think it looks really impressive i'm sure my toddler will like it and i'll give it a go with the different shapes um as well they look much easier i will follow the video that i'm going to pop the link for down below and i will try out these different shapes but yeah i don't really have much to say on this product apart from as i said the train did keep stopping a few times there and i'm not sure why and the manual is not brilliant but don't let that put you off as i said just follow the link on youtube and put it together that way it feels very sturdy train is a brilliant train really sturdy however one slight downside is you can't like i'll show you later. if you take it off the track oh, okay, it's off. it isn't motorized off the track so it has to be attached to this to actually move as you can see it's got these kind of clips and they will go on that on the edges there but your toddler or kid can push it along like that and look it looks really nice look at that look at that look it's really nice it's a lovely train but look you can't have 10 on at the back See if you can. Move. Okay, so when you press go, it doesn't move on a flat surface. It only moves on this track. So if you're looking for this product to have as like um the track and then that to perhaps use on another track, it won't work because unless your track has something that is compatible with these bits here, but um it won't be motorized on a flat surface as I've just shown you. It just you can just push it along manually. And wow, I love that. I still think it's a very beautiful little train. I think that alone is worth the money. I wonder if you can buy more attachments because it has got a little thing here. So it looks like you can hook more on. Yeah, I'll show you it one more time on the ball. And yeah, that's my honest review of this product. Like I said, I because I ripped it open, I couldn't really show you it myself unboxing it. But yeah, it was just those pieces in here with this. And there's another piece of paper I placed somewhere over on the other side of the room that I kind of just got very frustrated with, threw away and went to YouTube and followed the how to set up guide on there. And the train was in the box, like on the top there, as you can see. And one of the track pieces was there. So you could get a sample of what the track looks like before opening the box. But yeah, that's the box. I think it'll be quite a nice size to wrap up and give us a present as well it's not too huge um yeah it does say age three plus includes train engine and 20 track pieces light sounds and action not many sounds really um the different shapes this one looks fun although it looks like it would definitely fall over that one looks easy enough to do so and this one's amazing that's the one that i've put together that's kind of like the show stopper piece on the front of the box that kind of draws you into this toy this big round ball it basically i saw it and i thought wow how is a train going to go around a ball shaped track like normally the tracks are flat aren't they on the floor so like i thought oh how is that gonna work it seems amazing but yeah i'll show you one more time and yeah that's my review so to get the train on the track these pieces here they need to kind of click on like so then let's go oh turn it on So 
I'd just put two more new batteries in because I had two older batteries that still had some energy and then two new ones. But I've actually just put all new ones now and I'll show you it's much faster. Keep up with the camera. <laughs> it's so fast now. So that might have been why it was stopping before. I'm just holding it. To see if it's going to stop or not. Shot. Yeah, so that was much better with all new batteries, so nothing to worry about. I just had a bit of um it was just a thing, you know, where they had it had two older batteries and two new ones, it was the kind of like stopping a little bit. But as you've just seen, it's really fast. It's working well. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more toy reviews like this from an honest mum of one, then don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and have a nice day. Bye.